fix it, dude. So I, I'm gonna uh, take it and do some cosmetic surgery on it. Okay. All right. All right, holler at so how was it in there, man? How was it? It was uh, very emotional yeah. for me because uh, I lived in that neighborhood until seven years ago for 22 years. <clears throat> and I raised my kids over there. Mm -hmm. My son is with the 60s. Mm -hmm. He's up in Solidaire right now. He knows these kids because they he came up with them. Yeah. And they're in the same game set. So uh, he called me yesterday from the pen. And, you know, he was telling me about how they used to hustle together and did all that. Too. Yeah. But uh, I remember when these kids was, you know, in their teens. They was, had a little clique they put together. They would selling DVDs and t-shirts and socks and <laughs> incense trying to make the dollars trying to make hustlers, man. Yeah. And uh, <laughs> this little plaza over there on Slauson and Crenshaw where you got killed at, mm -hmm. the merchants used to run them out of there because yeah. they'd be hanging out over there smoking weed and all that. He made up his mind he was going to put some money together and buy the place. Yeah. And he did. And yeah. once he did it, he started hiring all the because people, people his friends. To go, to work yeah. up in there, you know what I mean? And then, you know, beyond that, he was doing stuff in the community, like improving the playgrounds of the elementary school with they, money. He had just fixed that one school, um, the high school. 59th he, he, Street yeah, Elementary. He, he fixed the, uh, the basketball court and yeah. everything. Beautiful, yeah. He bought an old brink truck. Yeah. Painted it all black. And put his logo on it. Yeah. And he would drive around up in the and watch in the projects and different places and pass out tennis shoes to the kids. Yeah. He was doing that, man. Yeah. You know, and he left his mark, man. Yeah, you know what I mean? He was evolving did. into a different kind of individual, even though he was Music was the beginning, but that wasn't the end for him. He, he was, was rising yeah. above that, man. Yeah, because he, definitely his, was. he was becoming a more conscious person. Yeah. And he was speaking out on different things, you know, getting on the radio on talk shows and being interviewed by folks and being articulate with yeah. the way he would talk, you know? And uh, he was made out of a different kind of cloth. Man. Yeah. You know, and you, you could feel his spirit. And I just left up out of that, man. I was so emotional. Yeah. I cried a little bit, you know. Even yeah. when the day that happened, I heard about it and I went over there and I thought he was going to survive. But when I got there, they told me that, yeah, they said he got shot. He got shot, and then like three minutes later, they were like, "He's gone." It was so quick, like it was quick, like. Well, have you seen the video? Yeah. That captured the whole thing. Uh -huh. It was such a brutal situation. It was. God kicked him in the head after he shot him the last time. Yeah. But the purpose was that. Why you gonna kick the man in the head? He's already dead yeah. or dying. Yeah, it's horrible, man. You know what I mean? I and saw your speech too. The speech you gave at the vigil. Oh, yeah. I was like, oh, there goes Muhammad. That's my guy right there. He was everywhere. I was like, people yeah, were well, moved by your speech, man. There, man. I had to people say moved, something, yeah. man, because you know it meant a lot to me. I could hear it in your voice yeah, too. I could oh, see it, was, it in your body posture yeah, and everything. Yeah, because I knew the kid, you know, yeah. and, and and my son knows. My son grew up with him, yeah. you know. My son is with the 60s. Yeah. So, you know, I lived on 59th and West Boulevard for 22 years. I raised my son and daughter by myself. From the time they were 9 and 10 years old until they got out of high school and started trying to think for themselves. Yeah. And, you know, my daughter got killed three years ago. So I know the pain of losing a kid and losing a loved one. Yeah. It's not good, man. It's not and, uh, you know, I had to come in and pay my respect to them because his mother's brother was a good friend of mine. His name was Reggie Boutte. Yeah. We called him Rasputin. She mentioned his name in there when yeah. she spoke. And so, uh, you know, I, I just had to come down here. Uh, my original plan was to have a painting yeah. on display on stage. Yeah. Didn't work out like that. Yeah. But, 
I got a better situation being out here with it. You know, it is, yeah, yeah. They're going to see it. Over. They'll take it. I'm sure they'll take it. It's unfortunate, though. I had a little accident. I see it. <laughs> it's I'm cool, gonna go man. Fix it's it cool, up. though. It's nice. Yeah, I can fix it up. Yeah, I ain't worried about it. But to be able to go inside, it sort of like soothed my soul from what happened here. Yeah. You know, because I had my hopes built up on wanting to spin on stage. You know. Yeah. It didn't work out, but it's yeah. okay. It's all right. Yeah. All right, man, I appreciate the words.